loves welcome back to my channel today is gonna be way different from lash extensions so today i'm gonna show you guys how i do this nail set on my practice hand i'll be calling her lupita <laughs> but um for her i will be using this full um nail tips from stella um and then here i'm just going to be sizing them to make sure that they fit literally side wall to side wall once I have them all good to go, I'm going to go ahead and just cut it off so that it could be the length of a natural nail. And then right after I clip them, this is where I'm going to be sizing the nail tips. Um, oh, but before that, I am going to just drill off a little bit of shine where I'm going to be applying the nail tips so that they can glue on better. Now here is where I'll be applying the nail tips. Here I'm just sizing them to make sure that they fit side wall to side wall. I will be linking everything down in the description box if you guys are interested. Um, as well as the glue drill, everything. I'll link everything for you guys. Once the nail tips are glued, I'm gonna go ahead and cut them to my desired length. So me guys, I, I feel like I'm better with long nails instead of short nails. For some reason, short nails always come out really, really thick and I don't like it, so I'm doing long nails for this one. I think the size that I did is maybe like a 7, 6 or 7, somewhere there. Once I have them all cut, I'm going to get my 80-80 um, file. I feel like with this file, you get that nice crispy shape that you want. So I'm just going to gently just file the sidewalls and the nail tips just to get them the, the square shape that I want. So for these tips, you don't really have to file much. As you can see here, I'm just going to be filing the, the very tip of the nail. But yeah, definitely, if you want to get that crispy shape, I definitely recommend you use that 8080 file. So now I'm going to take my drill and then I'm just going to basically do what I would do to a client. I'll just blend the, the nail tip with the natural nail. Um, it does seem here that I'm doing a 7, but I don't usually do this speed on my clients. And then for the drill bit, I am using, I think, a 180 or 240. that is done of course i'm gonna dust off the dust from the blender and then i'm gonna be going in with the color blushing from valentino for this set i will be posting like an inspo pic so you guys can see what i'm going for and then here i'm just gonna be doing my acrylic application so i'm still kind of getting the hang of it as you guys can see if you guys have any tips tricks anything that you guys have for me Please put them in the description box below I I mean in the comments sorry but usually what I do with long nails so I apply the first weed where the nail tip and the natural nail uh, meet and then from there I just use either the 3 bead method or the 4 bead method um, if you want more like in detail I will be doing another video on how I do the bead method just to show you guys but I'm going to go ahead and shut up right now. I'm just going to let the video play and let the music play in the back. And I'll be back to give you guys any tips. kick
kick. Okay guys, and then if you guys didn't notice, I did mess up on the ring finger. It was supposed to be kind of like an ombre to a clear with the glitter, if that makes sense. But it's okay, I just went ahead and applied some of the glitter. So this glitter, I did make it myself. I'll leave the glitter that I used and the little containers that I used. But yeah, I did do this glitter all by myself. So I'm just gonna use that glitter for the ring finger and the middle finger. with clear acrylic that way whenever you guys need to file the design won't come off um, as you guys can see here I did use the Mia Secret clear acrylic I do recommend the Valentino or the Young Nails one but this is the one that I had and it works just as well I'm gonna take my 8080 grid um, file again and I'm just gonna go ahead and just shape it um, cut down the acrylic so that it can get the shape that I want 
and then you'll see me go back to the middle finger and the in the ring finger just to make sure that the clear acrylic did dry but you'll see me tap on it and then guys so i'm a beginner um of course my application is not that great or where i want it to be but it's completely okay so what i learned as a beginner is when you file with the actual file not the nail drill i feel like it gives you the the shape better if that makes sense and then what i learned when you file with um the hand file what i learned is when you file and then if you see like there's like a little dent or when there's like you know how it looks white from filing and then there's like that little spot that looks a little bit dark like it's not filed if that makes it i don't know i'll make another video on that but usually that's how i learned like if there's that little blank spot that's not filed that means you still need to file and just even it out until you see all of it like white or filed if that makes sense but I'll, I'll make a separate video just explaining it better to you guys but here you'll just see me tap it like i said and then just filing it and then i am going a little bit gently um just because these nails they are a little bit flimsy so i feel like they lift and move quite a bit so you'll see me it looks like i'm going harsh but i'm really not it's i'm just going very very gently because i didn't want the nail tips to either break or the skin to break so but as you can see i keep fixing the nail kick Once I feel good about the filing, this is where I'm gonna take the nail drill and then I'm gonna use that same sanding bag, either that one or use a cuticle one. And I'm just gonna go on the cuticle to yeah, seal those kick. cuticles so that my retention can be can last longer.
one thing I learned as well, this is kind of stupid, something I should have known. <laughs> but one thing I know or learned is that when you do nail art, you definitely, definitely want to buff out the nail. Just because when you go in with that harsh um, file, it does tend to leave kind of like that streakiness. So your nail art will be all over the place. But definitely buff and then... I was a little bit lazy here because I was doing this at night and I didn't apply a clear coat, a base coat for the nail art but definitely don't skip that. Always apply a base coat so that your nail art can be a hundred times better. But I don't know if you'll be able to see where when I'm doing the lines on the pinky they kind of like smudge a little bit like on the lines from the filing. But definitely apply a base coat. That'll definitely help if you're doing Frenchies, if you're doing lines, if you're doing snowflakes, anything at all. Just make sure you buff and you apply a base coat. Well, for nail art, I'm gonna be using this Winstonia Long Nail Brush. And then for the white, I'll be using this DND White. I would usually go in with the Valentino one, but for video sake, I'm just gonna go in with this one. So when I tell you guys that this nail art or this pack of nail arts is a must-have, you should definitely get it. I love this one and the Beatles one, but definitely for my Frenchies, I feel like I do them so much better with this one, with the long one. But definitely run to Amazon, get it. You'll see that they are so fine. They are literally the best. Kick. Kick.
let's kick. kick. For this set, I did try my best to get it as close as the picture, so I'm going to go in with the matte top coat. I'm going to be using this Beatles one. Um, I really do like it. Um, it's not the best, but you know, it works. So that's all that matters. So I'm going to go in with this one. I'm just going to apply it in all of the nails except the, the pointer finger, obviously, because it has the glitter. What I like to do guys is after I'm done curing the matte coat or the gloss coat, I always like to go back in and just file the tips of the nails um, just so that they won't lose like their shape to it because sometimes when you do apply the gloss or the matte, it does kind of lose its shape to it. So I'm just going to go in again and just file that and just 
file the sites if I have to. if it was a client so i am putting putting cuticle oil <laughs> but that is it guys again uh, i am a beginner so if you guys have any tips tricks anything at all anything that you guys recommend anything that you want to see um anything at all just let me know in the comments below trust me i do read them so i do do appreciate them honestly i don't take them personal but this is the final set guys i really hope you guys enjoyed uh, I will try my best to keep uploading more videos, but I'll see you guys in my next one.